this guy's 37 years old, and um, his name's uh, Zell. He's this uh, creeper. So we'll catch up with him eventually in Chiang Mai. But it says, what do we do with people like that? What do we do with people like that? Do we, did they learn? Are they like computers? You have to punch the information in again and again. You've got to smash their fucking teeth out and put them in hospital before they learn. How do we deal with these fucking scumbags? Um, I guess we'll soon find out. And if it wants to fuck around in my community, then they're going to deal with me and they're going to deal with the other guys who aren't, af- aren't afraid to stand up. When you want to back up fucking pedophiles and all this shit, that's when you cross the line with Duranon. That's when you cross the line with me personally. So let's stop there for a minute. You could clearly hear that he was referring to ISIL as a pedophile. And I want to call out Holly on that one. You see, Holly made a challenge where he said if you can find a video, post or comment where he has called someone a pedophile, he'll give you $10,000. We've got about 10 grand US here. We've got some 50s, we've got some greenbacks, we've got some hundreds. It's legit money. I'm not just talking trash. I'm backing it up with cash. $10,000 cash. 10 grand for you. Legit money. Legit money. Are you man enough to take up the cash, take up the offer? But I bet you're not. $10,000 challenge, cold hard cash. It's 10,000 bucks, cold hard cash. Cold hard cash. Look at that. So you can see this money here. This is cold hard cash. Cold hard cash. This is a put my money where my motherfucking mouth is. I'll give you $10,000 Australian dollars. Cash. Cold hard cash. Always keep your word. Always keep your word. If you say you're gonna do something, you fucking do it. Then I would recommend walk your talk. Always keep your word. Always keep your word. And I recommend walk your talk. So where can I collect my money? Oh, and by the way, Harley still hasn't donated $50,000 to Jen's family. And just to be clear before anyone says, oh, I'm just doing this for money and stuff. If he were to give me $10,000, I will donate everything. I don't want his dirty money that he's earned on like slandering and defaming others. We need to speak up. We cannot let this continue to happen. He can get away with this because we are staying silent, because we are not speaking up and saying that this is not okay. If you refuse to put up your identification, <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Because he put up his identification, but whenever they're given evidence, they don't believe it. So June Rider is asked, I want to see your passport. And the guy goes, sure, there you go. I don't believe them, they're fake. I want real ones. Like, these are real ones. <laughs> <laughs> just like, I want your fingerprints! And you're like, okay, I'm just gonna walk away now because we're not getting anywhere here. So that's that's one sign of psychiatric problems. If you're gonna put up the court testimonies of your fucking ex-wife or whatever... Yeah, because that would be legal. <laughs> Why can you put up court testimony? Is that not like called um, privacy laws? Uh-huh. With restraining orders against you, if you're gonna disprove that... Oh, that was a good bullshit. He's gotta disprove restraining orders. Hey, motherfucker, I didn't say no one's a pedophile. <laughs> I'll say this oh. motherfucker <laughs> is <contact now. laughs> I said no one was a pedophile. Yes, yes you did. Uh, there's documented evidence of it everywhere. Everyone is screen grabbing everything you write because it's so hilarious for whenever we do videos. Ah, oh, just brilliant. So here's more evidence of Harley calling him a pedophile. So do I get $10,000 for each time I expose it or how does that work? 